kind of get some stuff set up here a little bit. Tried to come on just a second ago and it went right back out. So maybe we're in in now. So how hey, y'all like the background back here now? It's a little bit different background. So I've got this on where YouTube can watch it as well. So let me go ahead and say with the YouTube out there, y'all like what y'all saying, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. Leave with some comments. Uh, Scotty1979 is where it is. On YouTube and Twitch is the same title, Scotty1979. Is where you can find it. This is just where we just talk about randomly things. Storytelling time. Time. Tell some stories. Um, some video games. I may get some Mario going home here in a little bit. Play a little bit of everything. Most of all, talk to you guys and girls out there. Um, it's been a day or two since I've been on here live streaming, so I am, I've got a, a game of free sale going right now to play. <sighs> While I wait on some of y'all coming in. So I'm giving everybody a little time to come in before we get started away and carried away here. So thought it was just a good time to play a little game while I wait on everybody. Because right now I've only got one viewer. So I was watching uh, a little thing on YouTube a while ago. Of course, you know, you don't believe everything you hear or see on YouTube. Um, but they're talking about the government and all this other stuff. Um, with that being said and done, they are predicting for this uh, coronavirus to uh, disappear. Uh, by the end of the year. I just don't see how that's going to be uh, possible. How, how do you make coronavirus disappear? Hmm, that's enough to make your head scratch, right? So, yeah, that was a really good question. I just don't see them how they're doing that. I don't see how they're going to make it official. I have also seen where uh, I haven't got any more uh, details on it here recently, but uh, yesterday 
or the day before yesterday. I think it's been two days now. Um, and I think it was somewhere in California. This uh, person comes up and shoots not one, but two police officers um, at a drive-thru, sitting there getting something to eat. They just walked right up to him, point the gun out, and shot them. And then turned around, around and ran like a coward. I mean, why did he even bother running? I mean, you know they got, it, got him on camera and everything else. So, I mean, why do you want to run for? I mean, you might as well just say, boom, boom, and just wait on the rest of them to come and do a big shootout and let them shoot you. Oh, what is it? Oh. Um... I don't know. I don't know for sure. It, it does kind of looks like a black man who shot the officers. I'm not 100% sure. Like I said, I did not get into the detail. All I know is I saw uh, clips of a uh, man a, a black outfit a black hoodie shirt and a black hat um and black sweatpants uh that does not mean that it was actually a black person um it does not mean that but he was in a black outfit but i'm not sure if he was actually black or not maybe somebody can come in and quote it um the officers had a family now they're in a hospital fighting for their life. Um, it was it was a very sad situation for the, that family. Um, I hope they catch up with the guy pretty quickly. If they already have, I'm pretty sure that they've already been caught up with them by now. But if they didn't, I'm sure they're about to. Um, you know, it's, it's a sad situation out there. It really is, folks. You shouldn't have to go around and kill people. I think my reason he might have done it because he'd know he did something wrong and he got in trouble for it and he went out and started shooting people which I find very offensive don't pull a gun and start shooting people because of your bad behavior That, it really burns me up to see that. Yeah, we got that kind of people, idiots and ignorances out here in this world like that. It, should, it shouldn't be like that. It really shouldn't. <laughs> I just hope that they find out who it was and I hope they get him. Um, that right there, I am not going to hesitate to say this. Um, I don't support the Black Lives Matter. I don't support it. I support Human Lives Matter. It's no such a thing as a Black Lives Matter. I am a Human Life Matter. Uh, 
what that guy there there did uh is not human he is not human he needs to be shot all this hatred and stuff that we've got against our cops and stuff that has got to stop like seriously So what, what's the, I'm going to tell you what exactly what's going to happen, and you can mark my word. All this cop hatred thing that's happening on right now, what's going to happen to you as a cop hater? What's going to happen to the cop haters out there when you get it yourself into trouble and get yourself into bind? What are you going to do? What do you mean? Well, you get in the bind, get in trouble, and you run to the police, want the police to help you because you're in trouble. They're not going to help you because you're against them. You're on your own, buddy boy. You're, you have done buried, you have made yourself an early grave. It's all on you. I uh, really hate them officers. Um, I found out uh, yesterday uh, another truck driver lost his life. Um, at a grocery store or whatever. He, uh, this driver went to a very, uh, this actually happened in uh, Memphis, Tennessee. The driver um, had a load of little deliver. And he gets to his uh, unloading place. And it's dark outside. And uh, he there drop off his delivery, pick up another trailer, and take off with it. Well, the gang, or somebody came up, I'm not sure, I don't think it did anything about a gang, somebody came up and shot him. There must have been something on that trailer for them, that them people wanted. Wasn't it but groceries, but still. They were, uh, the dude was uh, found dead in the back of a trailer. Uh, somebody there shot him, loaded him up in the back of the trailer, and ran off. They didn't take nothing. Um, and the reason they didn't take nothing because truck drivers don't have nothing. Uh, truck drivers, they don't carry no money. Truck drivers, they have no value, uh, valuable items other than what the cargo is. Uh, so these people didn't actually get nothing. They killed a man because they thought something else was on that trailer that was worth money. There wasn't. So. And they found him yesterday morning back at the trailer store owner comes in. So we're having to really pay attention there to our surroundings. Not them. Um, I was also told as well if you know that you're going to a unsafe place to drop your load off. Uh, Yes, you can actually call 911 and uh, have them to send out a unit so that you can unload your merchandise and uh, they can have a car out watching if you're in that kind of situation. <sighs> uh, 
I know this driver here, he didn't know what kind of situation that he was going into. If he did, he probably would have done the same thing. I think the driver's already been there once before and thought, well, okay, it's not a bad location, so I'm going to be in and out. Well, he was in and out, all right. Now he's dead. Um, I don't know if they actually beat him to death or actually shot and killed him. Seems like I read somewhere that somebody uh, shot him. But I'm not 100% sure on that part. People just ain't got no respect for anything anymore. <laughs> yeah. I'm tired, y'all. It's been a long day. So have y'all noticed anything behind me yet? I've changed my computer room around a little bit. Uh, so we're getting here tonight. Um, been on here almost 18 minutes now all right they know don't hear that late yeah that long already and ain't nobody been in here yet uh keep everyone in your prayers on the california wildfire I think it's up in Oregon now I think uh, I think Colorado has a small wildfire going but mainly California uh, let's keep them people in prayers and thought um, I've got a thing I'm going to pick on California for a little bit here And I know in all the parts of the world, <sighs> yeah, I can't stop. Yeah, I can't wake up. I know in all parts of the world out there that uh, Mother Nature has different ways of dealing with different parts of the world. Uh, and just like down here on the uh, east coast down here, we got a lot of hurricanes down here, right? Um, I don't hear so much of them out on the west coast. It's mostly down in the southeast coast. Uh, and I don't reckon there's any way you can stop a, a hurricane. Uh, basically the same way there's no way that you can stop a wildfire. Um, 
I know, I do know that they've got rules and regulations, regulations, rules, and stuff put in place out there for, um, if you are camping and you want to build a bonfire, there are certain, uh, procedures that you have to take and everything. Um, every year, this time of year, of every single year, they had the wildfires out there every year. They had one last year. Had one before that. Um, they also had a wildfire up in Canada, the oil field rig up there, Fort McMurray. Uh, they had a big wildfire. Uh, but California is, seems like they're the world's worst on wildfires. I don't know why. I know it's dry. But if it's as dry as they say it is, I, I remember not very long ago that they kept having landslides up there where it was uh, so wet that they actually the land gave away and they start having what's called mudslide landslides because of everything being so wet up there. I just don't understand that part. And now they're just so dry now that everything's burning up there. Maybe like last year, last year we've had more rain last year than I've ever seen Tennessee ever have last year. Uh, we've had a little bit of rain this year, but it wasn't like what we had last year. And then, of course, we had that big storm come up in October. Um, that was a very ugly little storm for us. For us. Well, we still didn't have a real bad cold winter. We didn't really have a cold winter in a long, long time. Uh, flooding is our big issue here in Tennessee. Flood, flood, flood. Um, of course, I am a uh, high area that, you know, way or way above the river level, so you're not going to get flooded out. Um, several, several, several other places are going to get flooded. Now, what is going on here, I will tell you this much, that hmm. I can't wake up for nothing, y'all. Huh. Getting my bedtime. It ain't even but 7 o'clock here. Um, I will tell you all this, that we've got so much rain last year, and we had a real hard, massive rain here yesterday, and uh, yesterday morning. We've actually got a uh, road that actually been washed away. Right now, everything is so loose here from last year's rain, in the rain from this year that everything is drying up and then the rain hits it works it loose and now everything is wanting to wash away quite easily over here i am very surprised you know we've got uh two houses one house is still standing but just by bare uh, barely half of the land uh, ground up underneath it don't wash completely off so it's just like one half of the house is just dangling off it's just a matter of a minute and it may already be gone they just ain't showed no pictures of it yet mother nature is out here is definitely in a fight 
Uh, we've got actually quite a bit of hurricanes coming up. Uh, actually, Mobile, Alabama is having a hurricane um, as of right now. I think they've already kind of almost moved through it. I'm not sure if it's all the way through there yet or not. I'm not really sure. Uh, it's come up and it's warping around Mobile, Alabama, going coming back around, going into Georgia and all that. Back up that way. Hmm. Look at that. I got to quit going, y'all. Um, it's not a, it's not actually coming up to Tennessee. It's not. Uh, but it is going to take out a big portion of Alabama. And then I think it's going back out to, sit to the ocean. The way they predict it. But that's not the only one that we've got. I think there's another one behind it too as well. I don't watch a whole lot of news, so I don't really catch a whole lot of details about it. So. Well, all right, folks, I've already been on here 27 minutes. Nobody's been on here so far, so I'm going to go ahead and end this live stream so I can get some stuff done. Uh, early bed for me tonight. So, appreciate y'all being with us tonight.